Hello everyone, this is King Kony OT. This video I will show you use our A4 board, but this time we will use this IF device. Uh, you can see I have this uh, IF remote. We can control this switch panel, or maybe you have a curtain. Uh, you have a curtain of the remote, and you have a light of the remote. Now I will tell you how to use Home Assistant. Uh, you can create the button to learning this remote button and send the signal by the home assistant. So this is the Raspberry Pi and this A4 board and this is a switch. Uh, I will show you the results. You can see this is our wall switch. Uh, this have country the light and this is channel 2. And I can use this remote. Uh, you can see I can turn on and turn off the light because I have used this panel, have learning my button signal. Just like this. If you want long distance, you just uh, extend the antenna. And now you can see my mobile phone. Uh, this is Home Assistant. Because I have created the radio button, you can see I can press a button on and off, uh, send the command and the wireless signal to control this panel. So now I can use this mobile phone for Home Assistant, and I can also use this uh, remote to turn on and turn off. Okay, now I will show you how to learn this button uh, to the A4 board and the A4 board send the signal to country the switch panel. Uh, even if you have any the, this kind of remote, just 433 MHz remote, IF remote, uh, you can learn any button to the A4 board. So you can see this is the A4 board, we can see the hardware first. Uh, you can install the receive module, this is IF receive module and this is IF transmit module. So this is the code for the code. We can send this button signal. This signal is sent to this module. And this module will send the signal to the switch panel. Uh, this send signal to the switch panel. So the first step, we need to learn the button, like this button one. We have learning to the A4 board. And then the home assistant create a button, switch button and it can send the RF signal to country the uh, panel. Okay, let's begin. Uh, you can see this is a home assistant dashboard. We have already uh, created this button. Now I delete it. I will tell you how to step by step. Okay, this is a new. Uh, so at first also you need to uh, install this add-ons by the ESP home and create the button uh, create the device of the A4 board and press the edit. So this is the configuration of the IF. Uh, last video we have tell you how to use the IR device. Uh, this is the IF device. Also you can get the code, the configuration code uh, to lesson 31 and uh, how to decode uh, 433 MHz IF signal and send the IF device uh, by ESP home. You can copy uh, these sections and uh, to the ESP home. Uh, you can see uh, this I have copied. You just replace the Wi-Fi SSID and the password of your load. And uh, this is a remote receiver. And you can see uh, this is ESP home. Uh, how about use the IF device? Uh, this is for IF transmit. And you can see uh, this is for the IR and this is IF. So you need to define the remote receiver. This pin I need to change, uh, which GPL you have used. A uh, dump, just a capture all data. And this you not need to change. It's the buffer and the sound signal settings. Uh, so you just, uh, just copy this from the ESP Home official website. You can see I have copied this. And this is receive, that is 19, because we can check on the diagram. Uh, this is ESP32, uh, you can see uh, this is uh, receive module. R means receive, and this T means send. So this is GPIO 19. So I have uh, set to 19, and this is copied from the official website of the ESP Home. And this is the remote send, which GPIO you have used by the send module. So we can also see this, this diagram. Uh, we can see uh, send is GPIO 21. So I have used a 21. And this uh, carry duty percent must change to 
100%. If you use IR, you change to 50%. Uh, so this is 100%. Uh, you can see uh, this is must 100%. Uh, this help tell you. And at last, uh, we can create the button. That button is used by switch. Uh, and the plant for is template. And the name, uh, I have choose the RF power button. And this is action on and action off. If you switch uh, one button, you can run the signal for talking, talking the signal. Uh, one signal for on to off, off to on. So that you can learn only one signal. Uh, if the button is for on and for off, uh, is consists by two different uh, signals. So you can use uh, learning the signal for on and another signal for off. That is individual. So these two versions of the uh, learning way, uh, most of the switch panel, IF switch panel have include this function. So you can use one signal to send the talking signal, and you can send two signal for on and off, uh, two different signal. It's up to you. So at this time, I have sent one signal uh, just for talking on and off, on and off. So uh, this is easy to uh, for the demo, take the demo video. So I have used the turn on action. I have set, sent the IR switch. Uh, this is RC switch, that is a library uh, used for the ES, ESP home. Uh, this is the code, and this also is the code. Later, I will tell you why I use this code, and the protocol, and the repeat. Uh, sometimes I send a signal, maybe the signal is not very well. Uh, so we can repeat, uh, send two times, uh, that is make sure it will be work stable. And you can also delete this, uh, send only one time. I, Oh, actually, I have sent totally uh, three times, uh, one time, and repeat two times. Uh, so uh, we can save and install. And uh, later, I will tell you uh, why copy this code. And you can install and choose the USB, because we have also used the USB cable uh, with, the, with this uh, Raspberry Pi uh, USB cable. You can click. And now begin to complain and download. Okay, begin scan the Wi-Fi and connect it successfully. And now is ready to use. The so first we need to decode. Uh, I have said uh, decode the button one. Uh, you can uh, decode any button. I just uh, use this button one for turn on and turn off the switch. Uh, you can see I press the button one. Uh, you can see uh, this is the code have received. So if you press any key, like, like button 2, uh, button 3, and button 4, uh, you can see all will have the output of a different signal. Now I can copy this button 1. Uh, sometimes this button 1 uh, is not enough bit. Uh, we just copy this, this 4 signal. This is learning for successfully. And the copy and to the notepad. And you can see this is received RC switch row. This is original code of the wireless. Uh, this protocol type is one. I don't know one is what. You can uh, choose, the, uh, you can see the RC switch library. Uh, that will tell you what is the number one of the protocol means. Now we just copy this number one to the ESP home configuration. And this is date, uh, the button one, button one state. Okay, we can close it, stop, and edit. And you can see uh, this is the RC switch code, uh, though this, that means original. And the code, uh, this is the code, you can see I, I have already copied uh, this date. This date uh, just is this one, this date. And the protocol type is one. No, the protocol type is one. So this is copy. And this just repeat, uh, how many times repeat you want, 10, or 5, 6, 7, it's up to you. And this is turn off, turn off I also have copied this, because I use one signal for on and off. So I have also copied this uh, to this section, and also use protocol 1. So if you want to uh, continue this turn on button from this one, and turn off from this button 2, so you can Replace uh, this code with the button 2's code. That will be this one for on 
and this one for off. And now uh, you just use one button uh, for on and off, on and off. Okay, so you now you can understand. I can choose close, and at last uh, you can see the configuration and the integration, and you can choose this A4 and this device and the last one uh, we have created. You just uh, see the last one, and you can see this is a power IF power button. You can add to uh, love lens. Uh, you can add to love lens. You can see overview. And this is the last time we have created the IR, uh, IR signal. And this, this we have created for the button for the IF. Now I can test this is my IF remote. I can press the button 1. It's on, off, on, off. Now I can press uh, this button on Home Assistant. You can see I can press, uh, it's off. And you can see I can press again. This is, is, is on. So this is for talking. OK, now you can use this remote, IF remote, and use your mobile phone home assistant or home assistant on your PC software to country your uh, uh, device uh, by IF. Uh, so this is how to use copy and send the IF signal. Thanks for watching.